Okay, so here they want to know how many different ways can a team of two men and two women be formed if there are four men and five women from which to select. So quickly we can use the formula here and then we'll talk about the, the intuition behind it um, that we have four men to choose from and we're choosing two of them. And we have five women that we're choosing and from them we're choosing two of them. Now, if you were to evaluate each of these and then multiply them, you'll have your answer, which is 60. And going back to some of the math behind this, 4C2 is 4 factorial over 2 factorial. I just subtract these two and take the factorial of that times 2 factorial, the second term. And that's going to give us what? Well, 4 factorial over 2 factorial, that divides out nicely to, you can reduce this, of so 4 times 3 times 2 factorial, that's my numerator being rewritten, over 2 factorial times 2 factorial. 2 factorial over itself cancels out. And then I get 4 times 3 over 2, which is 6. So there are 6 ways to arrange 4 men. And I'll rewrite that in a moment. Times 5c2, or 5 choose 2, so it's 5 factorial, subtract 5 minus 2 to get 3 or 3 factorial times this, the amount of we're, the people we're choosing, so 2 factorial. Evaluating this, we get 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. That is still 5 factorial. Over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So 3 factorial times 2 factorial. The 3 factorials cancel out, and we get 20 over 2 factorial, or 10. And this ends up equaling, oops, this ends up equaling 6 times right, 10, or 60, and that's our answer. So here we just use a straight application of these two formulas, but what's, the, what's some of the logic behind all this? Well, for 4C2, right, the order doesn't really matter. So if we have four men, and those men are, let's say, A, B, right, C, and D. We're choosing two of them in different ways. So I could choose man A and B, A and C, and A and D. But if I've chosen A and D, I don't have to consider the reverse order D and A. I've just chosen those two men, so the order does not matter. And then I have B, C. I can choose B, C, or B, D. Or I could, well, I could choose C, D. Notice the nice little pattern right here. And with the five women, 5, C, 2, let's say we have women... Let me change colors here. Not A, B, C, D, and E, but 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So here we can pair up women. So we can have 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, and 1, 5. 1, 3, 1, 4, and 1, 5. We can have 2, 3, 2, 4, and 2, 5, and then 3, 4, and 3, 5, and then 4, 5. That same nice pattern, 4, 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. These are triangular numbers, but I don't want to get into that right now. Um, so here, you can imagine, when we combine these two groups, that's where the multiplication comes in. That's why we don't add these two, but multiply them. Because I could have um, A, B with any one of these pairs of women. So it could be A, B, 1, 2. A, B, 1, 3. Right? A, B, 1, 4 and so forth, all the way down to a, b, 4, 5. In other words, this is about multiplication. For each of these pairs of men, there are 10 pairs of women that could form the committee. So that's 10 times 6, or 60. All right, hope this helped.